Coach, so talk quickly about um, getting started on the right foot, just how important this game was. Well, I think, you know, especially for our younger players, they uh, haven't experienced conference play yet. And I, I feel like we put them in some situations, you know, at a tournament in New Mexico State where two really tough opponents um, and kind of really felt like conference play. But until you're in it, they don't really understand that. So I thought it was really good. Um, and for our returners, you know, just to, to gain some confidence with this young group and uh, was proud of their effort. I really felt like defensively and rebounding wise, uh, we really dominated the paint and that was great for us. It's not something that we've been able to do um, from a rebounding standpoint. I was really proud. It was a team effort. We didn't have anybody with double figure rebounds, but everybody that played, I think, but one player who only played for a possession had a rebound, and um, we've really been stressing that with them. If we're, we're going to be successful, we've got to rebound the basketball. What about the play of Beatrice? I mean, it seemed like she really turned it on there in the second half. She did. She took some good shots. I thought, you know, she forced a few, um, and I think we took some shots when we retired, a little bit more fatigue, and I thought she played uh, with a little more balance um, and, and knocked down some big shots. I thought we weren't pretty offensively, and I think it, you have to credit Houston Baptist. Donna does a tremendous job in preparing her team, and always feel like they guard you the right way. And um, we were able to hit some shots at some critical times, and, and B was a big part of that. You kind of went into the game expecting it to be a dog fight from the standpoint of a lot of pressure and defense. Um, defensively and on the boards, like you mentioned, how do you feel like you responded in, uh, in being tough in the paint against a Houston Baptist team that's pretty big? Well, I thought it was good. I think I don't think we're going to play, um, you know, two more active um, and aggressive post players. You know, I thought I think when you look at their numbers from a consistency standpoint, um, any any time someone's averaging 13 boards a game, you're you're getting it done. And it's just the constant effort that Strickland has. That you know, we we had to had to keep her off the glass. I think she ended up with. Um, you know, 11, but eight of them were on the defensive end. We weren't giving up a bunch of offensive boards to us, and, and they do a great job. So I think it was really important for our young post players to experience that one first off. Um, so now they built some confidence going into the rest of the conference play. For this matchup specifically, to have Keisha back as another ball handler as, as opposed to in, in the score as well um, against their pressure defense, how big was that? And having uh, Beatrice and Janelle out? Well, it, it forces teams to figure out how they're going to guard you. And, you know, they can no longer put two people on Janelle and then take another defender and, and really try to uh, pressure B. And when you got three kids that can handle the basketball um, the way they can and get you into offense, you know, it, it's, it makes it more difficult for other teams to take that away from you. So once we get our bigs, uh, you know, a lot of those turnovers came from our bigs. Once we get our bigs used to handling the ball at the elbow and, and dropping off those backdoor passes, then then we'll be all right. That turnover number will come down. Here on the floor, you know, how do you plan to carry that momentum onto the top? Well, you know, I mean, we're we're one and zero in conference, and um, you know. We look back to last year, Stephen F. Austin loses at McNeese in the first game of conference play and they go on and win the regular season. So we, we have a, a motto, theme, whatever you want to call it. Um, but in our program, we want to be 1-0 every single day. And that's our preparation, um, every possession, um, both ends of the floor. Everything we do, we want to be 1-0. And today, you know, we were able to go 1-0. We took care of business. So we'll, we'll take that confidence. You know, I think it's always e a little easier to have a, some more pop in your step and play with a little more confidence when you win um, and good things happen. So we'll try to carry that over to Monday. But they know, you know, after midnight, we're, if you can use Belichick words here, we're on to Sam Houston. Yep.